get you to at least a 75. I hope so. I've already got divide up the data. Um, if, now, this kind of important. You're going to want to keep this kind of tucked away in the back. If the initial set of data was even, you had to divide by two to find the median. Then we use the middle values. If the initial set of data was odd, so the median is part of the actual data, do not include that value when finding the quartile. So I'll show you what that means. But know that there are a couple of special rules and that they're on the front of your paper for that. Find the upper quartile or quartile three, which is the median of the second half of data. Again, same thing. Write out your five number summary. Okay, this is important. There are five things that you're looking for in the box and whisker plot that are going to help you create it. First thing you need is the minimum value that you get just from stringing the numbers in order. Then you get your lower quartile. That's the median of the first half of data. Then you have your median. And you have your upper quartile, which is the median of your second half of data, and then your maximum number, which again you get from the So it's basically just finding a bunch of medians. I don't know what medians. No. 
I mean, I'm not in my court. It's still not like the like the median of the road. You have a median. Who says that? So like median in this road, the median between one and ten is five. All right. Draw a box and listen to class for the following set of data. Okay, so I gave you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. Yes. Yeah, I guess okay. did. And then look how nice I was. I even ordered them for you. Thank you. Wow. Can you just double check and make sure that I actually put seven numbers there? Yeah. I started with seven numbers. Mm -hmm. So we need to make sure that when we order the data, we actually still have seven numbers, do we? Are we good? Right here. Are there seven numbers here? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yeah. All right. Step two is to find the median. The way I find the median is I go low. High, low, high, low, high. There's the median. Yes, dear. What if you have even numbers? We're gonna we're gonna do it. Okay. So my median is 85. Good? Okay. Now, if we look at the I'm gonna flip back to the front real quick. And I'm gonna look under step three. Are you looking with me? Flip to the front real quick and look under step three. It says if the initial set of data was odd, which it was, because we had seven numbers, correct? The median is part of the actual data. Do not include that number when finding the quartiles. So when I go to find the median of the lower quartile, I don't include this. Okay? I don't use that number. So if I'm looking at just the lower half of the data, what's the median there? 82. 82, because that's the one in the middle. And sometimes I'll go like this and cross them the other direction so that I can see them. So 82 is the median there. Okay, what about the upper median? 88. That's what I've done. Have I done anything difficult yet? Not really. Okay, now we take all of our numbers and we put them into our five-number five summary. What's my smallest number in the whole set? 75. There's your lower quartile, then your median, then your upper quartile. What's your highest number? 98. You just follow the order of the numbers. So my whisker starts at 77. Okay, it's the same thing that's on your paper if you can't see up here very well. So my whisker starts at 77. My first, I said to you, you've done this before, and you all said no. Okay, well, you did this in first grade. Okay. I don't think they call it the whisker box, whatever. Probably not. Bro, why is it called the whisker? Because it's got these. So like cat whiskers? Those are called whiskers. I don't know why. I didn't name it. I get why this is box, but why those are whisker, I don't know. Anyway, lower Turtles quartile, median, upper quartile, and then your max number. No, okay, ready? Wait, can I call it? A lot? All right, let's do. Just are just lazy. Yeah, that's it. They're lazy. What? Because I'm adding a piece of data. So everybody needs to go to number nine and you need to add one more data piece. That would be 10. Is it even right now? Do it. 
Do it. Everybody goes and we add one more data piece to number nine, and that would be the data piece 10. So everybody needs to write comma 10 next to number nine. Okay. Matthew? Carson? Ms. Rowe, look what happened to this again. I know. Stop it. Ms. Rowe, you driving me crazy. Ms. Rowe, what? Do you know Carson be Isaiah in the race? I didn't know. Oh my God. Isaiah. Okay, but we need to focus. So, okay, we work. Step one, what do I do? Step one, put them in order. Okay. Ten. Then eleven. Then twelve. Then fourteen. Then it looks like there's two fourteens, correct? Yeah. I do. And fifteen. Then two sixteen. Yes. Every set of data has to be represented here. And an 18. And then a 19. Okay, so I'm just going to go through. I think I have them all, but I'm just going to go through and double count that I actually have 10 pieces of data there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm good. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. So, step one. What's your minimum value? Uh, min is 10. What's your max value? 19. Okay. Then I have the lower quartile. I have the median. And I have the upper quartile. Find your median first. You got to split the data into half. Okay. Are you ready? Can I go? Okay. So I'm going to do 10, 19, 11, 18, 12, 16, 14, 16. I have two in the middle. It's 14. So if you can't figure it out, then you add it up and you divide by two. If you can figure it out, what's in the middle of 14 and 15? 14.5. So your median is 14.5. Now, once you have that written down, we're going to look on the front page again. On the front page under number three, if the initial set of data was even, you had to divide to find the two median or to find the median, then we use the middle value. Okay, so what that means is when I go to do the median, that's where my median is. So I actually use these numbers that are in between. Okay. So I'm going to go high, low, high, low. What's my medi What's my lower quartile? 12. Do you see what I did? Yeah. Okay. So when it's like an even number, you use the middle thing? Right. Okay. Right. If it's an even number, then you use the middle thing. If it's an odd number, you don't use that middle one. All right. So then I'll come over here and I'll do the same thing. Low, high, low, high. What's my middle? 16. Okay. Now, you're going to create a number line. It has to be counted evenly, just like any other graph that we ever do. Okay? So I'm going to create a number line, and it has to be as low as 10, and it have to has to go as high as 19, but I'm probably going to go to 20. So I'm probably going to start at 10. And I'm going to count by twos, trying to keep the spacing even. Ty, you with us? Okay. So 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So I tried to keep the spacing as even as I possibly could. Okay. All right. Now we just go and we draw it using our five number summary. Okay. So what's your minimum value? 10. That gets a little line, and that's going to be one of our whiskers. All right. What is your next line that you're going to draw? 12. That's going to be a little bit bigger because it's going to be the start of the box. A whisker box? No, the box box. <laughs> um, how am I going to do 12 and a half? Or, sorry, 14 and a half. I'm gonna so here's 14, 14 and a half, 15 would be here. So I'm just gonna approximate it the best I can. 
That's why you have your number written, your summary written down so that somebody who's testing it, who's looking at it, can see exactly what number you're meaning. My upper quartile is 16. That makes my box right there. So that's where half of the data is right there. That represents the middle half of the data. And then my max is 19. That's my, my whisker again. And then the whiskers just get connected with a line. That's it. Miss Rowe, what's yes. your favorite animal? My favorite animal? Is it giraffes? Giraffe? No. Why not? Because they're not cuddly. I like my cat. I like my cat. Okay, what do you think? It's not that bad, right? It's annoying because it's got a lot of stuff. I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a lot of work. You should do number 10. Yeah, okay, so now you go do number 10. <laughs> go do number 10. I believe you can do it on the back side if you want. Okay, I'll leave my number 10 up here so that you can see the numbers and everything. If you want to flip to the back side, which is blank, to do the work. All right. I'm going to wait a minute for you to get started. And then once I think that you have your data that you need, so I'm not standing in your way, I will start we it as well. So you can check it. Why? Are we going to add one to this one? No, we're just going to do it the way it is. Okay. This one we're just doing the way it is with my number. Do you want me to read the numbers or is that going to mess you up? No. Okay, I won't read it. Yep, that's fine. Here. Okay. That five number summary, that's important. That's what's considered your work. All right. All the LQ. Lower court time. Lower court time. everyone pardon the interruption but at this time i need to recognize our student of the month for the month of april so if i call your name could you please come down these students have been displaying uh, model behavior and academics throughout the month of april we appreciate them being great role models for others so at this time when i call your name please come down to receive your certificate and have your picture taken zachary barron miles beach Jen Winters, Adriana Pellegrino, Rory Higgins, Anna Grillo, and Nisi Beltran-Roblero. the main office at this time. Thank you for you know, all the, the great work you students have done, and we hope to get everyone else nominated in the near future. Have a great day. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there's my five number summary up there if you're ready. No, you're okay. I'm just I'm just telling you that my five number summary is up there for number ten. How'd you do? I did pretty good. Oh, but it needs, it does need to be there though. <laughs> For future episodes. Yeah, the other one is for Wednesday. Tonight's is the last one. Why does he always do that right when the bell's going to ring? I don't know. Why can't you just do it in the morning? How do we do with our five number summary? You got it? Do I need to draw you the box and whisker plot? No. You can do that part, right? Yeah. Okay, so your job, let's go over this quickly. Your job tonight is in this packet in the one we were just working on the last page both the front and the back it's a combined one of them is a frequency one of them is a um cumulative frequency and one of them is a box and whisker i will take this did you hear me i will collect this on thursday so you do not need to send me a picture of it tomorrow I will be collecting this page from you on Thursday. So the front and back need to be done. Now, of that packet that we were just working on, what are the papers that I set up on top of your dividers? No, no, honey. You guys, look at me. This page, we're done with. Okay? This page was just practice. This is the page, front and back. I just ripped that out. Then I'm going to be collecting. Okay? The last. No, the last. It's in that. No, no, no. It's in that packet. There you go. Last page. Now, the packet that I set on top of the dividers, that is your lesson for tomorrow. There will be a video. It is not up there yet. There will be a video that I will post for you to go through your measures of central tendency assignment and or classwork. And then there is an assignment. The second page is the assignment that you should be doing. Got it? Is the video first? Is the video what, honey? First. No. Everybody good? We cannot make it curt. And then we have something very, very different to look at on Thursday and Friday. You're going to maybe like it? Wait, so what are we doing on Wednesday? I wasn't paying Oh, my word, I'm going to hurt your child. You're going to watch the video on this. Okay? Then you're going to do this and bring it in with you on Thursday. Two pages, front and back. This, yeah. and then this. That's going to be the video. The video is going to give you all the answers to this first page. They're going to work a lot with more. Then you're going to do this part on your own and okay. bring it in on Thursday. I understand now. Okay, I am so glad. 